Do you know what you're doing? This is fine though, and this is plastic, so I can't put this in the oven. Okay, I might have to use this to make a different art doll with some <laughs> milliput. Do I use milliput? No. Okay. That's okay. I will use that. Skip ahead once I've done this again. I did that a lot quicker this time. Okay. Never done this before, and once again, as always, I'm completely winging it. I do have a picture of the frog that I saw the other day, though. So. How big I want it. I don't want him very big. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is difficult. Once again, as always, I've got... Okay, let's just make... shape. It's a shame I don't have a 3D model here to fight against what I think a frog looks like in my head and what a frog actually looks like. to look at some more reference pictures. facing, don't I? Let me see what eyes we have. These were very kindly gifted to us from a subscriber. I think I might go for the, I mean they're the biggest, but I feel like I want to go with the brown, sort of amber. I think it needs to be significantly larger. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, the toy's a charm. I'll make it bigger. Okay. I think I might have to make the head cook it and then put the eyes on and then Millie put the hoods, the eyelids. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Does that look about the right size? Yes, it does. But I can make the holes for them. Do a, do a test. Uh, I should have been doing from the eyes from the beginning. It's making it so much easier. I do a test. Yeah. So I'll then have to do that with milliput because I can't cook it with the eyes in. So. How pointy is a frog's nose? Quite pointy, I think. He's slightly wonky. <laughs> slightly wonky. Need to be at the moment. It's looking a bit like a snake. <laughs> But I could actually, I could then do a, um, a mouth under it, chin. I don't want it to look too cartoony though. Do you know what? If I make a hole in the side of its head and add head, more head, I could build those on the side of it, I reckon, with milliput. Okay, fourth time is a charm. I think I realised I need to do way less detail on this bit, cook this, and then build up the rest with milliput. Including the neck. This one does need nostrils. And the nostrils live here. I use his eye. The nostrils are here. Say here and here. I'm going to go cook this. <laughs> We're back. Fingers crossed we can uh, make this work. <laughs> so, unfortunately, <laughs> I took a phone call and then I burnt the frog head. But, by some miracle, it's actually sort of worked out for the best because it's added warts. <laughs> and, like, it, it, I think it can work. Um, and like the colours not too, obviously I have to add some green and paint and stuff, but actually, surprisingly, burning it has worked in my favour. So that is amazing and a lovely coincidence. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, he looks so good <laughs> with the burn. I wonder if I add them now whilst it's still slightly soft. <laughs> Wow, 
That's so funny. That's not how well how the world works sometimes. Is it no, they're not quite even. It's just quite hot. I love how that's turned out. I'm holding it with my jumper because he's still very hot. <laughs> okay, so I'll obviously have to add some green. Are the, I will I will be the first to admit this looks more like a toad than a frog. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. And yeah, I still know where can I add ridges? Now I'm not sure if I can. But I do want to add hoods for his eyes. So I'll get some milliput. So we've been using milliput for years. Um, especially over on our other channel with the crafts we used to do, but we haven't used it that much on this channel. Milliput is excellent because you don't have to cook it and it's an epoxy resin, um, two part, epo no, it's epo sorry, epoxy putty, so it sticks as it hardens. So it's really, really good for a lot of things and I'm going to use it to make his little hooded eyelids. And we love um, Milliput so much that once a subscriber emailed Milliput and told them how much we were raving about their product that Milliput sent us a little care package and it was amazing and exciting and quite not too far into our channel and yeah it was amazing so big Milliput fans in this house you can get it in all sorts of different colours do you have to combine it equal parts and then mix it together takes a little while and you do get it all over your hands but that's what happens when you craft I can't get over how good he looks but I never could have made those warts so I'm very happy which is good because that saves me, to time, saves me some time to make his clothes so I will bring you back when this is mixed because it could take a while making spun cotton frog's legs. I've wrapped a cotton ball around some wire and then I've wrapped that in thread and then we get some cotton lay it on you get your PVA mixed with water I'm sorry, I'm finding it very difficult to film with all the glue like this, but here is the second thigh. Um, cotton thread round, which is the same length, a little bit longer. Hold it over a bit. That'll do. Then you get the cotton. thick little bits at a time we'll do little bits at a time
obviously, luckily, his body will be covered with clothes. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> yes. I possibly think making the clothes is the hardest thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> I did an A level in textiles. Oh, I did a GCSE. I wish I could, but... Well, people just tend to use patterns. <laughs> oh. That's just the size you zoomed in for a... Yeah. Um... See, if he wasn't going to wear dungarees, I'd do French knot buttons, but I might do that on his collar. <laughs> I think he'll be cute. Be any difficult. Cute. Oh, I was gonna. I'm gonna do a collar. Oh, Did you do something about his arm? Are you going to put sleeves on? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna have the sleeves going down to here. <laughs> if people remember uh, what other creatures look like in th this part of the process, they know that. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. You never want to take the clothes off things that we've made. No. Well, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Quite often. <laughs> okay. Sew these this sleeve together. Up. His rolled up. So, this is from an old piece of clothing, so it's already got a nice hem. So I think I That's did. nice. Yes, it is. So, how much do we go for like waders or do we go for? Do we go for like dungarees or do we go for like 1940s esque high waisted trousers? Or with um, braces? Yeah. I 
should probably stick his legs on. Probably. <laughs> Chicken legs. Frog legs. <laughs> Frog legs. <laughs> Obviously it didn't quite work, but I didn't think these were actually going to dry, so I didn't finish them, but then they did dry. And I think it yeah, This frog has been underway for a long time. Yeah. We can, um, we can make it work. I can make it work. The chaos on our desk now. Uh, dung dungarees. Yes, yesterday's roundup just in the background of all the stoneware bottles. Yeah, I might do dungarees. Yeah. Okay. If you don't watch our mud vlogging channel, just have to say. Oh yes. <laughs> we found this mud vlogging the other day, and it's got this beautiful poem on the back. A sailor's tear. I'm going to put a C in there in a lighthouse. Like a scene. Do you want to see us finding it? On our other channel, our mud locking channel. So here is the frog. Yeah, I think we need a name. I think he does need a name, yes. I've been told he looks a bit grumpy, <laughs> but I don't mind that. Um, different pair of legs. And yeah, there was just a long break in the middle with him because the uh, it was my first time probably doing spun cotton and it just didn't, didn't it dry. It long time to dry. You didn't think it would ever dry, did you? But no. it did, in the end. Literally months, but it did. Yeah. <laughs> and then here he is sat on a toadstool on a fly agaric and i really like him i like him i'm very personally i'm chuffed he will sit on my shelf next to my pumpkin lady and i want to make more if you've got any uh, ideas down below of sort of creatures you'd like to see or a name oh well, yes a name please in the comments down below <laughs> we would very much appreciate yes but yeah thank you as always everyone that likes comments and subscribes we hope you enjoyed. We're doing uh, another autumnal craft next week using acorns. Yeah. So we're very excited about that and we will see you soon. Bye. Okay, I think he actually looks grumpier now. Does he? I think so. Or does he look cheerier? I don't know. <laughs> 
I really didn't mean to make him so grumpy. <laughs> Jaunty. Jaunty angle. I do like the look of it. Maybe I'll stick it on with wax so it can come on and off. Yeah, and we can change his hat. Yeah, <laughs> for the seasons. Yeah. <laughs> Still looks grumpy. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Maybe a little less grumpy. <laughs> <laughs>